All right, folks, the white nationalists at Fox News never like it when you got to confront racism in this country. Tucker Carlson is really upset at Texas Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee because she don't like white supremacy. Listen to this, fool. Now, Lee has, quote, served in Congress for nearly 30 years, but it's hard to think of a single thing she has ever done to improve the lives of the people who elected her. She doesn't seem interested. Instead, Sheila Jackson Lee has devoted her entire political career, indeed her entire life, to a single cause, shrieking about white racism. That's what Sheila Jackson Lee does for a living. Here's a selection. Institutional racism and systemic racism taints and spoils uh, the way that America treats. All in right, one so here's the whole deal. I don't, I don't, I don't waste to Tucker Carlson, I just want to give y'all a flavor of what he's complaining about. First of all, I find it hilarious that Tucker will suggest that Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee hasn't done anything for her district in 30 years. I don't think Tucker's even ever been to her district. Uh, and so, but again, when you're talking to a bunch of ignorant people on the Fox News who don't do any research whatsoever, they believe anything that he says. And so why is he upset with her? Well, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee joins us right now. Uh, glad to have you on the show. So Congresswoman, uh, boy, what, what, uh, 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 you got little Tucker upset. Not only um, Tucker, but also Lauren Boebert, who started at first late Sunday night and I provided her with a, a very detailed education on her misrepresentation and untruth. I introduced uh, Roland H.R. 61, which I will stand by. I have worked extensively on hate crime, anti-hate crime legislation from the time that Jane Barrett was decapitated in Texas. Maybe Tucker needs to know the history of this state uh, and the history of African-Americans who have been subjected to hangings and brutalities. But I introduced the uh, bill that would add white supremacy to the list of race, uh, ethnicity, and religion as elements of hate crimes. Evidence by Director Ray of the FBI who said, white supremacy is the largest portion of domestic terrorism. And unlike years back, when Al Qaeda was a threat to the United States, domestic terrorism is. Should I list Buffalo, New York? Should I list Mother Emanuel? Should I list the Walmart massacre of Mexican-Americans? All motivated, in many instances, by replacement theory and white supremacy. So Lauren Boebert took it on, that's the Congresswoman, and I gave her a treatise that she did not read the bill. It has nothing to do with speech. It has nothing to do with white people not speaking. In fact, I told Lauren Boebert, if she wants to be a white supremacist, be my guest. If she wants to speak about it, be my guest. But when that kind of speech, motivation relates to and results in a crime of hatred and violence, it is a violation and should be a violation of the federal hate crimes law. Now, I am incensed that um, Tucker Carlson would say all of my life. Well, all of my life I've been black and I've been a woman. And so if it is ne uh, necessary to speak about racism and what it does to taint America's uh, soul and soil, I will do so. But I do so uh, in the embrace of diversity, of the freedom of all backgrounds, white people, uh, Hispanics, African-Americans, Asians, others, and all religions. I'm known for that. I am known for that. And I take issue with his wrong interpretation. Uh, the thing that uh, that Tucker also conveniently left out is that after the Buffalo massacre of those black folks at the grocery store, uh, it was uh, uh, you, you had uh, Congressman Jamal Bowman who pushed forth uh, a resolution uh, dealing with the issue of white supremacy uh, in that shooting. A significant number of Republicans voted against it. And so, and so what we have to understand is that, so Tucker clearly is speaking to his audience. They align with white nationalism and in many cases white supremacy because they do not want folk like you and Congressman Bowman and others calling out white supremacy. They hate it. Uh, you are absolutely right. And my bill, and I supported Congressman Bowman, we worked together my bill will be a law where it will be a criminal offense for white motivated white supremacy uh, generating into violence, uh, violent extremism and the loss of life. Uh, he added another insult by suggesting uh, that um, 
I, I uh, did a bloodline, if I will, if, I, if I'm correct on that terminology, it was used against Jews for many, many years. Um, and I am stunned that he would now bring that terminology out when my understanding is that my Jewish friends are absolutely appalled at that kind of terminology and accusation against them. So he's taken upon himself uh, to attack everyone in the most vicious untruth that you could imagine. I do want him to answer the question. I do want him to answer the question, how does he explain the killing of 10 black people in Buffalo? How does he explain the killing of worshipers in Mother Emanuel Church? How does he explain uh, an individual from way north Dallas, way north Texas, excuse me, driving hundreds of miles to shoot Mexican-Americans in a Walmart store? How does he explain that? And is he willing to accept that as what America is? I'm not willing to accept it. It is actual hate. It's a hate crime, just as in Charlottesville, where they said the Jews will not replace us. Absolute racism and a part of white supremacy. So I'm just wondering where uh, where Tucker gets his, uh, how should I say it, his backbone to even criticize and not understand the legislation. And the same thing with the congresswoman who indicate that's all Democrats do. I don't want to give you a long litany of what I've done for the 18th Congressional District, but let me just say that I enjoy the opportunity to serve my constituents, and whenever they need me, I am there for them. So, uh, so, I'm, so I'm curious, Congresswoman, uh, has Tucker invited you to his show, uh, and, or has, and has your staff reached out to him to say, since you got so much to say, why don't you invite the Congresswoman on to have this issue discussed? Uh, we have, in fact, been in discussions, and I told my staff, if he is serious, we'll have a conversation. If he is not, I will not go on to be uh, a whipping boy for Tucker Carlson. I can take him on, but I don't have the controls of being cut off uh, on the other end. And I refuse to be cut off uh, on behalf of my constituents. So we are in. Well, uh, look, uh, I, I'll say this here. If you go on, it needs to be on set, not by satellite, uh, as, as opposed to you talking to a camera, not be able to see the monitor, uh, even if it's tape. Uh, and again, uh, it needs to be had because here's the deal. Look, Tucker Carlson, first of all, he's scared as hell of me. I mean, you know, he'll invite, he's invited a whole bunch of folk who I have on my show. Oh, he's absolutely scared to death of having me on, but that's also Fox News. They don't want to have people with a different perspective because they don't want somebody bringing real facts and embarrassing their clueless and nonsensical show host. Roland, I encourage uh, Tucker Carlson to get courageous and invite you. And I want to personally thank you for being one of the first shows that I'm given an opportunity uh, to be able to share about what H.R. 61 really means and how it has generated the ire of people who really don't read and you've just characterized, simply don't want the truth. It would be nice if they wanted the truth. I encourage them to invite Roland on for many things that you would have to offer them about the truth. I wish to offer the truth, and you've given me good counsel, uh, that in order to be able to control the camera uh, and not be cut off, it would be in person. So those discussions are ongoing. Um, we have, we uh, heard from them, but again, uh, the parameters have to be discussed. But the point is, I just want the truth to be out. Uh, the truth is that white supremacy is dangerous, uh, and it is part of the violent extremism that plagued us since January 6th. It plagued us with the voices of the former president, and it's plaguing us now. Does anyone understand why a individual who lost by 50 points would be shooting up uh, the homes of Democratic election officials? This is violent extremism, and America has to collectively stand up against it. As a black woman, I am not going to allow Tucker Carlson to get the best of my message, my truth, and who I represent. And so I'm grateful that I was able to come on, explain what this bill meant, uh, and to say that Tucker Carlson is wrong. Uh, and I'm sure I'll have the opportunity to say that further. Well, this is precisely why black owned media matters, uh, being able to have platforms that we own and control. Uh, and also, I appreciate you for fighting on our behalf for advertising dollars as well, because we've been too often left out of the mix. And so we're going to continue that fight because when we have our own platforms, we have an ability to speak back and counter the nonsense that we hear from Fox News and other platforms. Thank you so very much. And you are absolutely right. But I just pay tribute to the truth telling uh, that you do on a regular basis every day. Thank you again. I encourage everyone to pull H.R. Uh, 61, the Laws Act, 
Um, it is an amendment of the hate crimes law, and it makes it a crime uh, for white supremacy motivate, motivated, let me be clear, white supremacy motivated violence. That's all it does. Not speech, but violence. Gotcha. Congressman Sheila Jackson Lee, thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a good evening. Indeed. Scott Bolden, these are the kind of games that, that you see Fox News. They will lie. They will distort. They will say things to the audience to get them riled up because they are pressing the buttons of white fear, which is exactly why I wrote my book. That is the basis of the network and the basis of the evening opinion making uh, shows. This bill in and of itself, as the congresswoman just said, if, you, if you're not going to be a white racist or white supremacist engaged in violence, then you probably, and you don't support that, then you ought to vote for that bill. It's just that simple. We passed a hate crime bill. And so, um, you know, it gets tricky for her to go on and debate Tucker Carlson because they control so much of the camera, even if you're on set, quite frankly. But uh, I think it would be refreshing for a truth teller like uh, the congresswoman to go on and have a fair debate with him. It would be even better for you to have a fair debate with him. Oh, they don't want nothing. They, they may not, but they- Now you know they don't. Th because they're not interested in that because that's not their audience. And the whole balance and truth issue isn't what they're selling. They nope. are selling to a core constituent of uh, white Republican conservatives. Uh, uh, no, they, they talking in white conservatives. Uh, Rebecca, real quick, go on. <laughs> business model for his show requires white grievance and white fear. That's the only way his show works. That's the only way his show is able to, uh, to sell ads. Um, but that said, the biggest problem that Tucker has is the accountability piece that Congresswoman Jackson Lee has placed in her bill to actually have accountability of not when, when you have white supremacy and hate speech, but when you actually have violence, when you actually have actions that is tied back to those, to that speech. And that's what Tucker's problem is. He has a problem with the critical race theory, talking about white supremacy and calling things out because of that accountability piece. Even what he went on further to say to talk about what has happened in South Africa since the Indian of apartheid. Well, one of the big things that's happened in South Africa since the Indian of apartheid is a lack of accountability yep. for those who um, who led on apartheid, those who benefit um, during apartheid. Yeah, but the, those will be called facts and Tucker doesn't like facts. Nor does Fox News like holding them accountable as well. All right, folks, back to that my unfiltered video in just one moment. When you talk about blackness and what happens in black culture, we're about covering these things that matter to us, uh, speaking to our issues and concerns. This is a genuine people-powered movement. There's a lot of stuff that we're not getting. You get it, and you spread the word. We wish to plead our own cause too long have others spoken for us. We cannot tell our own story if we can't pay for it. This is about uh, covering us. Invest in black-owned media. Your dollars matter. We don't have to keep asking them to cover our stuff. So please support us in what we do, folks. We want to hit 2,000 people, $50 this month, raise $100,000. We're behind 100000 so we want to hit that. Y'all money makes this possible. Checks and money orders go to P.O. Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037 dash. 0196. The cash app is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zelle is rolling at rollingsmartin.com. 